What's up everybody, it's Chris. It's Team DY Fishing. Out here at the spot, as you guys can see, 100% overcast. The water is absolutely glass. There is almost no wind, no ripples whatsoever, which is okay because I'm out here with something new this evening. Just arrived in the mail today, came UPS. It is the Realis Pencil 110 by Duo. So Japanese company, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Jackal. In looking at all the walking the dog type lures, this is the one that seemed most forgiving and uh, that has had the most positive reviews. Uh, and also obviously watching videos, I saw quite a few nice fish caught. I went with what they call the funky gill color, uh, just kind of a, a, a bluegill theme. So this is a lure where as you're retrieving it, when you twitch your rod, the, the lure goes back and forth in the water quite a distance, a, a fair little amount of zigzagging. Uh, it's got a two, it's got what they call a dual knocker system. You can hear the, uh, the rattles in the rattle in there. So the combination of the top water walking action plus the rattle, uh, from what I saw on video, this lure is capable of drawing in and catching some big fish. So I've never thrown a lure like this, so it's gonna be a learning curve as far as the, uh, the uh, twitching action to get it to walk, but we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, if nothing else, we'll have some fun and learn how to use a new lure. So let's see what, uh, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, this it goes back and forth as you as you twitch the rod. So that's very very interesting. So I want to get some casts under my belt here. And you can hear that, you can hear that weight system just knocking like crazy. Yeah, I can see how this lure is going to produce fish. And if you don't, it looks like if you don't do a good twitch, the lure just goes straight ahead. So there's never really a wasted motion, guys, but just in my, my casts here, I've already got a really good side-to-side -side motion uh, going, so do another cast or two. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm loving it. All right, let's cast out into some water where there's more likely to be some fish now. I've just got to learn the timing of the twitches because if you mistime it, that's when you don't get you don't get the uh, you don't get the zigzag if you mistime your twitches. So the reviews weren't lying about this lure. Me having never thrown a lure like this before. I've got fairly decent amounts of, of the side to side twitching going on, you know, here in my first five, six casts. So, looking good. Has two brutal treble hooks on it. So I don't think, I don't think uh, missing fish with this lure is gonna be a problem. If it gets hit, it's gonna be a catch is my guess. All right. There are several, several brands that sell this walking the dog type of bait. They're all relatively priced the same. 
like I said, what ultimately made me go with this one was the reviews about how easy it is to use. And ultimately, also guys, I obviously watched videos of the lure in use. And saw some big fish being caught. This side of the pond, like I've been saying, hasn't really been too productive lately, so. If I don't catch anything over here before I get down to this corner, that's not the lure's fault. They weren't lying when they said this lure casts extremely far. Oh! Guys, did you see that explosion? That was amazing, you guys. The fish missed it. But did you, that fish was clear out of the water. That is gonna be awesome to watch back when I get home and have a chance to look at that footage over. That was a decent sized fish too. Wasn't gonna come out. I was at home on the couch. Lure had arrived and I was excited, but I'm tired. I've worked some strange, some strange hours the last two days, yesterday and today. Playing some Xbox, got tired of that and I was like, screw it. Let me go throw a couple casts with this. See what all the hype was about. I can see this lure being very productive, even though it's not doing much today, but today's just a blah day. It's been 90 degrees the last couple days. A lot of topwater busting going on by some fish. Another uh, bass just jumped out there ahead of me. just missed. Based on that uh, motion, it was a small fish. Nothing like uh, the big one that came out of the water earlier. Damn, it's gonna rain hard. Looks like I might have to cut this short, guys. It's 
coming down good. Yeah. It's letting up a little bit. We'll fish her. Beautiful sun. Look at that scene in my right, guys. That's beautiful. Oh, there was a bite right away. I'm not gonna attribute that to the action of the lure. That was just more of a reactionary bite. It's a fish though. There you go, you did me a favor, bud. Get that treble out of his back. That thing was in his back, fierce. All right. All right, nothing major, a little dink. But first fish with this lure, so. Like I said, though, that was just a purely Oh look, something landed in front of me. I'm gonna bite it type of bite. I hadn't even had a chance to to jerk the lure once, so. That was just an opportunistic bite there. The beggars can't be choosers. I was complaining about not catching fish and I just caught a fish, so. I need to bite my tongue. Big drops just started falling. definitely a bass right there so I can see bass missing this as I'm jerking it and they go to bite and I pull it out of their grasp or pull it out of their mouth I can see that happening somewhere through here is where I had that savage blow up There's one. That's a decent little fish. Oh yeah. It's a nice fish, guys, look. So, that kiddie pool, somebody had removed it from the water. It's been in the water for years, so I put it back. And this fish was this fish was held up in or around the kiddie pool, broke out of cover, and uh, and came and got it. So, as you guys can see there, nice decent little fish, nothing enormous, but that was a nice bite. Didn't explode on it, but inhaled it. That's for sure. So, I can't really get to the water the best. So I'm gonna have to kind of gently toss it. There we go. Nice easy landing. I'm gonna go across that corner and across that pool again. <laughs> Scared of bait fish. Mm. 
little one. Boy, that's hilarious, guys. Look at that. He bit that right at shore. And this fish is, this fish is only marginally bigger than the lure is. Pliers. Boy, these treble hooks in this thing are fierce. <laughs> so, there you go. There's the lure. There's the fish. The, the lure is half as big as the fish, but you know what? It's a fish. Got that little guy back. So in experimenting with different retrievals on this, I've discovered that less is more with this. If you try to jerk it too hard, you don't get the nice side to side motion. If you try to reel it back too fast, you don't get the nice side to side motion. I've, I've found that just, just easing it in, just easing it in and almost reeling as an afterthought just to get the lure in is the, is the way to retrieve this thing. Not jerking it real hard. So I'll experiment more with it, but I like the less is more. You get more of the side to side action. Oh, oh, there's one. Yep. That fish hit it and missed. And then came back and, and hit it again. So the action heating up here as we get further into the evening here. Yeah, there's no getting these hooks out without pliers. So again, nothing major, but it shows that the fish are gonna, the fish are gonna hit this action. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> That was a, a small fish and it hit and chased. <laughs> Little bass just jumped. GoPro might have caught that. I'll have to check that out. It got clear out of the water. All right, back. GoPro died. All right, let's get a let's get a couple casts in here. All right. That's gonna do it for tonight. Guys, if you like the channel, if you like watching these videos, hit the subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Like exactly like I said, not exactly a barn burner of a first time out with this lure, but you saw that it is gonna produce fish. So I had fun, I hope you had fun watching. Till next time, this is Chris, Team DY Fishing. Have a great night.